How's it going everyone? Matt Lane coming to you from Lion Village. Just wanted to make a quick video on the value of buyer's agents. You know, there's a lot of talk if you should use the listing agent or if you should use the, uh, the buyer's agent. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you three things that your buyer's agent should be doing for you. I got the, the playground in the back, I got the kids running around, but I wanted to make a quick informal video on three things that your buyer's agent should be doing. Number one is your buyer's agent should be proactively mailing the potential units that you're interested in or the potential house houses that you're interested in. Hear me out on this one. A lot of times condo buyers and even home buyers are interested in a particular subdivision. So maybe you want to live in a certain building, a certain floor plan, a certain tier. Uh, have your buy This information is very easy to look up in the tax records. Have your buyer's agent uh, mail these specific units, uh, you know, a hand ring card and say, hey, interested in purchasing your, your house or condo, uh, do you want to sell? And then if it's a house, maybe a particular street, particular subdivision, look at the tax records of uh, homes that haven't sold in quite some time and then mail out uh, those houses. Direct marketing, uh, direct mail marketing is not dead uh, contrary to popular belief. So that's the first thing. So the second thing your buyer's agent should be doing is get in touch with those agents that do a lot of business in that particular subdivision. A lot of times in condo buildings and in specific neighborhoods there's like one agent that gets most of the listings. Now if you're a purchaser, you know, should you use that agent as your buyer's agent? Well, you know, sometimes maybe that's a good idea, but you know, other times they might just be entrenched in the community for so long where they might not be like the best agent, so to speak. They might be good, but they might just be the person that knows the much. So be sure your 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 buyer's agent is in touch with those agents that do the most business in that specific neighborhood. Because a lot of times well-established agents in that neighborhood will know of properties that are hitting the market before anyone else. So the second tip for your for buyer's agent, what your buyer's agent should be doing is uh, is to definitely know the agents that do the most business in that specific subdivision. The third thing, and a lot of people forget about this, is uh, don't forget about rental units. You know, a lot of times absentee owners, uh, whether it's investment or they just moved out and they're you know, looking to sell in the future, a lot of times people forget about the rentals. So what you gotta do is look in the MLS, have your agent look in the MLS and get the cycle down. And this can be a little more difficult to do because actual leases, you're not really gonna be able to find them. But if you see that a unit is coming available, uh, you know, every April 1st for the past six years, maybe look out to that person and say, um, Got people honking at me, and uh, <laughs> and say, hey, maybe so if they're coming available in April, maybe reach out in January or February and say, hey, saw you've been renting this out for a while. Um, I'm motivated. I'm ready to buy. Uh, would you be interested in selling? So, quick informal video. I'm waiting for the basketball to bounce to me, make a three pointer on three things that your buyer's agent uh, should be doing. Just to recap, number one, hand write a personal letter uh, to potential sellers uh, in specific tiers, right? Specific floor plans or, you know, in Lion Village, specific streets. Uh, the, the second thing is to, uh, to know the, uh, the actual agents that do the most business. The third thing is don't forget about rentals. Okay, there you have it. Uh, just three little quick tips on uh, you know the value of buyers agents. I'll probably do another video, uh, you know, really diving more in depth. But uh, you know, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes for buyers agents, and uh, you know, these are three things that your agent has to be doing. Okay, so if you if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.